Natasha. I'm 17, I go to Western Heights High School in Rotorua and I'm interested in the tourism industry. To gain an insight into the tourism industry, Liam will do some work experience here at the Skyline Skyrides in Rotorua. Activities manager Harvey Mandino will oversee her training together with apprentice Simon Hackworthy. What qualities do we look for in an apprentice? We look for people who are keen, reliable and have a hunger for learning what goes on in the tourism industry. Hi Lydian, welcome to Skyline Skyrides. I'm Harvey the Activities Manager and I understand you're interested in getting in the industry. Yeah, I am. Follow me. Thanks. Come on in, Lydian. So what draws you to um, looking at this industry? Just, there's so many different aspects of this of the tourism industry. And living in Rotorua, there's so many places where you can go where it's a big thing. And it's a big industry in New Zealand and it's growing every day. It's, it's an exciting industry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, a lot of opportunities. You need to put the hard work in, because there is hard work. So what have you got lined up for me today? What we've got lined up for you today is where you're going to have a look within our operations, mm -hmm. which will be the luge, chair base, and how we actually run the, the chairlift in the luge area. When you start an apprenticeship, A, you uh, get unit standards um, throughout the whole of the operations, but as an apprentice, you get to move around the property. And that way, you also get a full understanding of how a tourism attraction place works. And with an apprenticeship, yeah. you then get the opportunities uh, to move into supervisory roles. Then if opportunities come available overseas, then there's a possibility there also. First up, Harvey takes Leanne through the Skyline Skyrides activity training manual. This covers customer service, safety and all the stages of training that the company provides. Apprentice Simon Hackworthy demonstrates the procedure on how to instruct a customer on the workings of the luge cart. OK, first of all, is make sure you keep your hands on the handlebars at all times, okay. OK? So you want to pull all the way back towards you. Yep. Right back there is your brakes, OK? Oh, OK. Now half an inch forward as you go into neutral. Oh, OK. And once you're moving, you never want to drop it all the way forward, otherwise you're dropping it into park, OK? Yep. Dropping it into park while moving may cause you to tip out of the cart. Oh, that'll hurt. OK. Now, while you're moving, you keep your hands and feet on the handlebars and in the cart at all times. OK. It steers like a bike from left to right. And to make sure the helmet's done up securely so it doesn't fall off. Oh, that's really easy. Thanks. Um, now it's Leanne's turn and, and she realises oh, it's not as easy as it looks. And keep your hands tightly on the bars and you pull way back to stop. And you don't want to go from um, going to park because then you'll fly over the handlebars and that won't be very good. So keep your feet in all the After time, a couple okay? of turns, Leanne's been given the thumbs up. Now she gets to put what she's learnt to practice. <laughs> Alright, okay, so you're just going down the scenic track there, okay? It was quite nerve wracking. The training was okay because it was only one person, but then when lots of customers came and you kind of have to hurry up and kind of tell them what to do, and it kind of, it was like I was bombarded with them. Um, customers, it was just quite hard. For, for her first day and um, just coming onto track and that she's doing very well. So I think she's doing really well at this stage. <laughs> Learning the requirements okay, for manning base chair is Leanne's next challenge. Oh, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> and just watch your head. I, find it, I found it a bit scary because you had to put on the, um, the rail and it kind of got away on me a bit sometimes. But um, yeah, you really need muscles to do this job because it's it's really hard if you're not prepared. A moment to relax and a chat with Simon. So how long have you been doing an apprenticeship? Uh, I've been doing the apprenticeship here at Skyline for just over a year. And how are you enjoying it? Yeah, oh, I think it's a good qualification to get. It's uh, good to get on the job training, so yeah, I like it. What qualifications have you obtained while you've been on this apprenticeship? Uh, I've done first aid course, and going through the level two and three in the tourism. Oh, cool. And so with your qualifications on the, the lift, you can work in any ski field, is that right? Uh, yeah, it's internationally recognised and it would yeah, be nice to work on a ski field, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, it'd be good. Having gained an understanding of the bottom chair, it's now time to learn what's involved at the top chair. We'll get them to lift the bar up, if they haven't already, waiting for the yellow line, and then we ask them to move to the right, OK? And waiting for the yellow line, and then just step to the right here, guys. Just step to the right. When the chair comes up, stand yeah. back for a sec. Okay. Okay. You okay. to hold it there like that, and it's not coming in there. Okay. Leanne's been very great. Um, she's got a lot of potential. She's got good customer service. Operation on track. Still a little bit more to do in, in that work area, but good. 
Was it very good, polite, guys? very pleasant. <laughs> She's got a good personality. She'd make a great trainee for us. So, Leanne, how do you feel you did? I think I achieved what I came here to, to achieve. So, yeah, that was good. Cool. You had a very good understanding of mm -hmm. what was required. Um, areas we were really strong in was your customer service. Yep. Communicating with the customers, uh, interaction with the customers, great stuff. As far as the machinery, you mastered that too. <laughs> A little bit hard at first, yeah. a little bit more training, a little bit more um, knowledge on it, but very good. Great. Yes. So I hope I'll see you soon then. You will definitely see me soon. Thank you so yeah. much for awesome. everything. Oh. Well, it was an eye-opener, uh, I have to say that. I, I've been up here a couple of times and I didn't think that the people who work here um, did that much. but. I can see that it's, it really takes a long time to learn um, the skills that they have and yeah, it's, it's a challenge. Really, really enjoyed it and um, yeah, it was really good. I want to thank Simon and Harvey for letting me come here. I learned a lot. <laughs> Skyline Skyrides oversee their own training with the support of industry training organisations. There is no prerequisite but a desire to be in the tourism industry and a want to deal with the public. Staff work towards national certificates or diplomas relevant to their requirements. There are numerous tourism qualifications offered throughout the country, ranging from one to four years in duration. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.